let's see how we can integrate tangent square x times secant x. This one, unfortunately, it does not satisfy the first strategy because in terms of the first strategies, I would like to have secant square x on the side, but we only have secant to the first power x, right? So can we make the second strategy? Let's see. I would like to take out secant x, tangent x on the side, and let me just show you guys if it will work or not. So the strategy is I would like to have the first part, but then times secant x tangent x dx on the side. However, originally we have tangent square x. We took one out. We have only one tangent x inside. This secant x is out, so we have no more. This is what we have. Well, we kind of succeeded for this part. But can we write the first part in terms of secant x? This is tangent x. We only have tangent square x is equal to this. Once again, if you want to do the square root business, uh, I don't like that. Nobody likes that. If you do the square root, you will make the question much harder than it has to be. This one is actually hard to begin with. So this is a situation that both of these strategies won't work in terms of the integral of a product of tangent to some power and secant to some power. And this is how you do it. It's a special case. Well, let's see. First, we know that tangent square x is the same as secant square x minus 1. I will just do replacement real quick. So I'll write this down right here above it for you guys. Secant square x minus 1. But then we have to multiply that by this secant x. So I have to do this, right? Distribute it. Secant x times secant to the second power x, we will have secant to the third power x. And then secant x times minus 1, that's minus secant x dx. Okay? And now the question is, how can we integrate secant to the third power x? Very easy. You can watch my other video for that. Okay? It's already done for you. This, how can we integrate secant x? Once again, you can watch my other video. It's also done for you. This right here, we just had to do this individually and do that individually, but I have done this for you already. The links will be down below in my description. Let me tell you what the answers are. The integral of secant to the third power, let me just underline it right here. This is the same as one half secant x times tangent x plus one half ln absolute value secant x plus tangent x. This is for secant to the third power x. Minus, let's look at the integral of the secant x. Well, this is just ln absolute value secant x plus tangent x. Okay? We're not done yet because there's one thing we can combine. First of all, this is just by itself. I'll just write it down one half secant x tangent x. That's it. But then, if you look at this and that, both of them have the ln absolute value secant x plus tangent x, right? This is positive 1 half. This is minus 1. Positive 1 half minus 1. We will have minus 1 half. The same term, ln absolute value secant x plus tangent x. And then we are done. Let's put a plus c right here. And now, go watch my other videos for this and for that.